I will present uh, the largest reported theory on plasmablastic lymphoma with uh, 135 cases from the LISA group, the French and uh, Belgium group. Uh, it's a rare disease, uh, few described. Could you tell us more about the plasmablastic lymphoma? Uh, yes, this theory provides new features on plasmablastic lymphoma and clinical, biological, radiological data. Notably, it, uh, it describes better the target populations with uh, 42% HIV positive, that is uh, less than uh, usually reported. We, we have found uh, among the non-HIV, non-transplanted patients, other patients with uh, immune disorder, uh, already described, for example, autoimmune disorder, older patient, patient with a history of malignancy. But for the first time, we have described a new subtype of patients that was patient with a localized lymphoma on a localized inflammatory chronic sites, for example, acne conglobata with a localized skin lymphoma. Okay. And were there any associated biomarkers with this new subgroup? The biomarkers, uh, is, its specificity is its uh, immunological feature with a negativity of CD20 and the positivity of plasma cell markers, so it uh, overlaps with uh, plasma cell myeloma. Okay. And what were the outcomes for the therapy? The, the outcome is poor with a median overall survival of 32 months. However, it was a little uh, better than usually described. Uh, concerning pronostic markers, there was uh, chemotherapy, uh, achieving a complete response. That has also been described, but we also have found the HIV positive status that was associated with a better overall survival. Probably because their counterpart is more older and more comorbid and uh, the possibility to restore immunity in these uh, patients. And how could other doctors use this research? Uh, this research, uh, it, um, for the treatment, uh, chemotherapy is needed because in some case reports they try to restore immunity by antiretroviral therapy alone or rituximab alone against uh, Epstein-Barr virus infected. But uh, we have shown that uh, without chemotherapy, patients did not uh, respond and died for, from the lymphoma. Okay. That is all the questions that I have here. Is there anything else that you would like to say? Uh, just for the target population, uh, usually describe that a third of patients are immunocompetent. We, we have found that again, uh, among the immunocompetent patients at first sight, when regarding there was less than 5% of immunocompetent patients challenging the real existence of uh, immunocompetent patients in this disease.